Hello, neat. Welcome. We're live, but my desktop audio doesn't work anymore. That's cool. Let me fix that. And boom. There we go. I had some like super dope upbeat tunes going on too. No, doesn't matter. Doesn't count. Say the beat. All right. Hey, everybody. Welcome to BJ and Coke Matter Quartet. Uh, this is week like 7 billion, it seems. Uh, <laughs> Two, two matches really a week. Yeah, and, you know, considering it's been, like, I don't know, four months. <laughs> so, uh, we've got some special guests with us. We have J-Squad. Welcome back. Uh, Jordan. Hi. Yeah, regular regular Tuesday, boy. Uh, we have Polaris Fluff. First time in the Commander Quartet. Uh, Welcome. First time and a half. Hello. There we go. Half, yeah. Half-ish. Yes. <laughs> Something like that. And we have... Mr. Penguin Samurai, welcome back. Going on. Oh, all right. Let's see what we got. We've got J Squad playing who? Who you blame? All right, cool. Well said. Playing <laughs> to say. To What's to say do? Weather like captain. Uh, she so has plus one plus one for each color of permanents that are legendary permanents I control, and then I can play. Hey, Werb, search my library for a legendary permanent card with converted mana cost less than their power. And then put it on the battlefield. And then you've got... And then I'm using Gigantha as my companion. So no gotcha. card in my starting deck has more than one of the same mana symbol. And then I can tap her and I get Werb. Huh. I think you can see where it's going. Yeah, there's a thing there. Uh... All right, I'm bringing uh, your boy Alex. Will Helt, Mr. Rock Cleaver, just zombie armies. You've seen it before, and if you haven't, well, you're going to today. Uh, Will Helt has, whenever another zombie I control dies, if it didn't have <laughs> decay, created two two black zombie creatures talking with decay. And at the beginning of my end step, I may sacrifice a zombie, and if I do, draw a card. Polaris, welcome. Who are you bringing to the Hi. battlefield? Uh, I am playing Miracle, Lord of Bones. He is a 7-mana seven 7-5. Seven uh, he has Indestructible if my life is 20 or less. Uh-oh. Do we lose Polaris? Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Cut out. Oh, no. Oh, no. I hear nothing. Oh, no. I hear nothing. <laughs> All right, we're going to move to Penguin <clears throat> while Polaris works on that. Uh, Penguin, who are you bringing to the uh, battle? I'm bringing Perry the Pulverizer. Oh, three three Perry. Rhino Soldier. When he comes into play, I get a shield counter on a creature. Uh, and when Perry attacks, one of the creatures I control gets Trample and plus X plus X, where X is the number of different kinds of counters among permanents I control. So Perry is. See... He's absolutely batshit crazy. We're going to see just how many different types of counters. Huh. Okay. Get onto the battlefield. Hey, I think I figured back. it out. For some Polaris reason, for some reason, when my webcam is active, my microphone shuts off until I increase the microphone volume by one percent. Excellent. Well, one percent is all uh, we anyway, need. Anyway, let's guess. let's try this again. <laughs> uh, Miracle Lord of Bones. He is a seven five for seven. Uh, he has indestructible if my life is twenty or less. And whenever another non-token creature I control dies, I can exile it. If I do, I create a token that's a copy of it, except it's an enchantment and loses all other card types. Interesting. <clears throat> uh, it's standard aristocrats. None of the minus one counter <laughs> shenanigans you can do. I think I think it's boring, but yeah. Well, here we go. All right, we've uh, we've shuffled our hands. Uh, we've uh, fluffed our decks to be perfect. So there's going to oh, be yeah. top tier plays coming on, and uh, we've yeah, randomized. Yeah. Uh, we got that J soul ring signet action. Oh my goodness, do we ever. J-Squad, you're up. I will play a Windscarred Crag Tapped, and I will gain one life and pass my turn. Well, he's he's the enemy. Ooh, <laughs> neat. Neat golly. Like All right. Image. I'm going to play the Dark Water Catacombs, and <clears throat> the turn will be passed. Okay, uh, Forest, tap it for an Avacyn's Pilgrim. Dork the taps for white. Pass. There we go. Oh, I didn't draw. Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> draw. Uh, I'm gonna play a Command Tower. Hey and pass the turn. Uh, 
tap. Draw. I'll play an Azora's Chancery and return a land back to my hand. And I will end my turn. Alright, draw for turn. Oh, golly gee, we did the thing. We got an Island, and we are then going to tap the Island to tap the Dark Water Catacombs to play Arcane Signant. And uh, turn will be passed. All right, well, I'm going to have to one-up you there, I'm afraid. Ooh, I like one-ups. Uh, I'm going to play a Vault of Champs, uh, and then I'm going to tap it for a Sol Ring. Mm. And then I'm going to tap it and yeah. tap this. For a Kadama's reach. Oh boy. Whoa. Uh, we rampant. That is going to be it for me. Uh, I'm going to find a forest and a swamp. Put the forest on the field. Alright, well, I'm just going to draw for turn. And uh, I guess I'll, I'll, I'll play a plains, which is not nearly as interesting. <laughs> <laughs> then I'll pass the turn. Because that's the kind of magic I play. Take it away. Please Fair play. magic. I will play a play. Hey, Kenku and Elf here. How you I doing? Welcome to Strip. Oh, golly, it's happened. And I end my turn. All right, we're going to untap. Draw. Mm hmm. Cool. All right, well, what we're going to do is we're going to play an island, and then we're going to tap one, two, to tap this, to create three. We're going to play the old commander's fur. Um, there it is. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, that is all I'm going to do. Turn has been passed. Okay. Uh, I'm going to play a swamp. And, uh, oh, look at that. Okay. I'm going to oh tap boy. out for my commander. Oh, boy. Don't I worry. He's, he, don't worry. He's seven cost. This is a slow deck. <laughs> Typically, I mean, I usually don't. It's uh, it's done well. Yeah. Oh, we lost you. Go up one percent. <laughs> I think he passed the turn. I'm thinking. Do, 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 do. I'm gonna draw for turn. Uh, I guess, like I said, I'm gonna continue to play relatively fair magic here. I play a planes and a crystalline giant. It's a three three. Uh, beginning an artifact creature, beginning combat on my turn, choose a kind of counter at random that it doesn't have on it from a bunch of choices and put that mm -hmm. on it. So uh, <clears throat> we're going to go to combat so I can put one of those on it. And do I have a D10 lying around? No, I have D12s. I'm going to roll a D12. And if I roll an 11 or 12, I'll just re-roll. Wait, um, does he have... It has 10. There are 10 different uh, counters no, no, that you can put on it. No, but does he have, whatchamacallit? It doesn't uh, matter if he has haste, oh, I, it just says at the beginning I guess, of combat. Right, you can go to combat and not attack yeah. with anyone. And I'm just right. going to not gotcha. do anything. Yeah. Gotcha. I'm like, wait um, a minute. So, nine. So the ninth choice is a vigilance counter. That's a good That's a good one. I like that. Yeah, sure. So he's got a vigilance counter. I'm sure you can totally read that on my camera. Uh, and I'll pass the turn. One tap, go play a swamp <laughs> and we're gonna tap three to play Starnheim Carcer uh, two two flying artifact and enchantment spells you cast, <coughs> cast one less to cast hmm um, that seems okay it's not legendary that's fine I'll pass my turn. Alright. Untap, draw. Uh-huh. Cool. Uh, so I did all this ramping and now I've got 
very minimal to do with it. Um, we are going to do one, two, both in black, and three, four, five. We're going to play Lillian's Mastery. Hello. So zombies I control get plus one, plus one, and when it enters the battlefield, create two Zomble tokens. That's like what I like to do is create zombies. So you know what? Amazing. I was going to do it. There we go. And the zombie boys, they're, uh, I'm just going to put a plus, a one on top there to remind everybody all the zombies get plus one, plus one. Three, three boys. Right. And uh, that is it and all. So if this does go too well, and it might, uh, I'll switch up decks to something I have that's bigger. <laughs> Uh, yeah, okay. Drop a swamp for turn. Tap two for a Great Henge, my favorite. Uh, it costs X less to cast for X is the greatest power among creatures I control, which is seven. Okay. Cast seven less to cast. Uh, tap it, it adds two green and I gain two life. Whenever a non-token creature enters the battlefield under my control, put a 1-1 one, one counter on it and draw a card. So, well. I'm going to tap this to gain two. And I'm going to play everyone's favorite, totally legitimate card, uh, Steve. Does everyone know what Sakura Tribe Elder is? No. I do. Yep. Okay. Um, Sakura Tribe I Elder. Look it up. Yeah, sorry. It. This was like, I never got a chance to uh, put that. There we go. Oh, there we go. Yeah, this guy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anyway, uh, comes in, gets a counter, I'll draw. And then I will sack him to his own effect to find a land, and he will come back as an enchantment because of my commander. I, th I think we lost you again. Yep. yep. <laughs> I think he's just doing it twice. I would assume so. With three cards in hand. Yeah, of the three cards in my hand, four, uh, of, sorry, of the four cards in my hand, three of them are lands. Worry not, and I'll pass. Oh. Let's go I'm gang pick on Sabi. Shut up and nobody gang pick on me. We're going to get curb stomped as is. Team, I think we got to do a thing here. We got to really deal with something you should absolutely well um i am going to make some not super consequential plays uh i'm gonna play a broker's hideout i'm gonna get a forest for that in a second it'll come into play tapped i'll gain a life uh i'll search for that in a second oh dang I'm the green play... screen is back even Mimeo Mancer. In the meantime, it's a 3-1 flying. The beginning of my upkeep, I can put a feather counter on target creature. If I do, the creature has base power toughness 3-1, and it has flying for as long as it has a feather counter on it. Um, I'm going to go to combat to trigger Crystal and Giant. Uh, that's three. So the third keyword is flying first strike death touch. So he's going to get a death touch counter. I have a death touch counter lying around. Um, I will grab a piece of paper and put death touch. I'm going to grab that forest, and that's that's my whole turn. So there's a forest coming to play. I'm going to get a death touch counter. Mm -hmm. draw. Play a luxury sweep. Comes in untapped because I have two or more opponents. Um... Tap three. Play Daxos the return. Whenever I cast an enchantment spell, I get an experience counter. I can play a one white black, put a white and black spirit enchantment creature token on the battlefield that has this creature's power and toughness is equal to the number of experience counters I control. And with that, Sisay so gets plus two, plus two. Then I now have two other two colors. Um, and then 
enchantments cost one less, so I'll tap two, play Moonblast Cleric to three two, and when it enters the battlefield, I can search my library for an enchantment card, reveal it, shuffle it, put it on top. And that will be my turn. All right. <clears throat> Oh, golly gee. Neat. All right, we're going to play an island because, you know, this black deck doesn't need swamps. Sweet, right? <laughs> what's your rate? What's your land ratio? Oh, wait, no, I don't no, want that It's one. supposed to be like 36, so it's supposed to be good. And it's supposed to be mostly black, so. Yeah. Um, all right, here we go. Do, 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 do. All right, friendos. What if I told you I could do something that could hopefully slow down Polaris? Would that be cool with you guys? Yes. Oh, Great okay. Plan. Okay, excellent. Sorry, Good. All right. Uh, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to tap one, two, three, four. Bring out Mr. Wilhelm. Thanks, my boy. Uh, we're then going to play one, two, and tap that to get two floating mana. And I will then play Go for the Throat at uh mr uh mike mike he's not an artifact yeah he is not an artifact to the command zone all right well now he has to do stuff with um with with land right uh so with that being said i'm going to go to combat <clears throat> and i'm gonna send two little zombies your way polaris three threes coming at you I shan't block. Six damage. Indeed. And uh, at that point, uh, turn will be passed. Yes? Will I pass? No. Um, I will then go to my end step, sacrifice a zombie. See ya, my boy. Uh. Draw a card. Neat. That's fun. Uh, then we're going to bring back a zombie with decay. I have too many zombie tokens. Boom. It's your boy. 3-3. Three, three. All right. And now I will pass the turn. All right. <laughs> Get a bread rush land. Gonna tap a forest for birds of paradise. It will uh, get a counter from Great Henge. Oh, it's buffed up. It's, it's still in bolt range, though. Mm -hmm, That's mm -hmm. true. You can still bolt the bird. Hey, guys. I was working on my Aula deck and didn't have my laptop um, open. Hey, Omega. One, two, How you doing? Da, da. Three, four, five, six, Yeet. seven, eight, We're nine We're getting mana. absolutely curb stomped here. Commander. Oh, he's back. Ah, uh, well, I did a thing. I... Uh, yeah. That is all I got. Pass. All right. Oh, and draw a card uh, off of the uh, great. Oh, I was gonna say great hand sugar. Yep. Thank you. So we're gonna untap. Uh, at my upkeep, I'm gonna do a potentially Ooh. bad thing. I don't know if this oh. is good or bad. Okay. I have an Avon Vimeo Mancer trigger, so I can put mm -hmm. a feather counter on target creature, and it would have base power three one, mm -hmm. and it would be a flyer. Mm -hmm. I'm real tempted to do that to Merkel because then instead of an 8-6 it mm -hmm. would be a 4-2 mm -hmm. so that is a play as much as I like putting feather counters on on my stuff I think I'm going to put feather counters I'm going to put a feather counter on Merkel All right. and that Merkel. will make him a base power and toughness 3-1 and a flyer sounds good now he's definitely in bolt range yeah uh, and then we'll draw for turn I'm trying right, to I guess help. we're we're playing Voltron now. <laughs> yeah, right? I'm thinking I'm changing his I'm changing his game plan. Um, all right. Uh I will play uh Nesting Grounds which taps for colorless or I can pay one and tap it to move a counter from a permanent I control to another permanent. And I can activate it only as a sorcery. Um and then 
I will pay four, oh, no. which is going to be three and a green for a Forgotten Ancient. Oof. It's a zero three elemental, but whenever a player casts a spell, I'm going to get a plus one plus one counter. Then the beginning of my upkeep, I can I can move plus one plus one counters from Forgotten Ancient onto other creatures if I so choose. That's a good way to get plus one counters. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I can pump other people's creatures. This is it's true. A possibility. Mm -hmm. You should uh, pump mine totally. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'll. I'm gonna. I'm gonna pump that Birds of Paradise. If I'm gonna die to anything, I'll, I have no. <laughs> I have no shame in dying to a Birds of Paradise. Oh hell yeah. Um, uh, I'm gonna go to combat, and I'm gonna trigger the Crystal and Giant. So, let's see what the roulette wheel gets. We have eight. So the eighth keyword is trample. So our boy here is gonna get some trample, and I don't think I have that count. You know, what, what's the point of these these counters to come into punch outs if they don't have <laughs> all the counters? Who authorized this? All right, we're gonna make a, a, a trample counter for him in a second, uh, and then I will pass the turn. On tap, I wonder what I'm gonna draw. Kitty! Tubers. Okay. <clears throat> Ooh, four. That'll work. I will play an Opal Palace. And then I will tap. Oh, that gets him there. Two. He did the thing. A rune tail kitsune. Uh, when I have thirty or more life, flip them. Whoop. Oh, well. Uh, pre prevent all damage that will be dealt to creatures you control. Um. Interesting. Then I'm gonna tap two for an artifact, and I'm gonna play Rings of Bright uh -oh. Earth. Oh jeez. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Uh... Oh, uh, that's two Does... spells. I can't call Chokes oh, Agony yeah, anymore since he got complete. You. Sad face. And then I'm actually gonna tap one of these to create a green to then play Destiny Spinner. And then okay. that's also two enchantments this turn. So I put two experience counters on him. Okay, can't be countered. And that will be my turn. Huh. Neat? Question mark? <clears throat> Alright, cool. We're gonna untap everything. We're gonna draw for turn. Oh, golly gee. I mean, it might be fun, I guess. All right, so what we're gonna do is we are going to try and do something, I guess. Yeah, let's do that, I guess. All right, cool, we are going to one, two, three, four, five, six. And we are going to play the Wand of Orcus. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we're then going to equip it to a zombie. So we got a 3-3 three, three zombie. And the Wand of Orcus, uh, whenever your equipped creature attacks or blocks, it and zombies you control gain death touch until end of turn. Whenever an equipped creature deals combat damage to a player, create that many 2-2 two, two black zombie creature tokens. Um... So, you know, I got that going on. Uh, I'm going... I'm not, I'm so scared of a lot of people. Because I'm just... I know, but if I hit him, it does nothing to his creatures. Because it prevents all damage. Oh, okay. That's a, that's a fair that's point. That's true. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know. Uh, can I deal with hey. that? Hey. Me... Would no, would can't. would somebody let I, me t tickle them for th three zombie damage? A lot of it, zombies. It's 
Just no, no, just 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 one zombie, but he's three. Nope. I mean, it yeah, yes, nope. it creates a lot of zombies. Lot yes, of zombies. yeah. I know. Don't make me decide on my own. I can I can help deal with the rune tails essence. I'm pretty yeah. sure. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I can help with that. I can I can deal with that. Okay. Well then, um, I think. Oh, hang on. You played a spell, so let me just do that. Uh, yes. I think with that being said, then I think that volunteers Polaris to help me get some zombies. <laughs> what? Did I say that? <laughs> Ooh, uh, mm, um, well, I mean, that's I only have so many options. So I think I'm going to have to swing at Polaris with a 3-3 Death Touch Zomble. Are you sure? Do you want more zombies? Is that what I, I think I he would, wants more zombies. I would love to have more zombies. Very much so. You know, so if you swing is... at me, I won't let that happen. I mean, the, them's the lumps I gotta take, I guess. Alright. Uh... Oh, we lost him. There's probably some really cool... You know, yeah, oh. so... Mm -hmm. Sorry, what's weird is that every time I change that, my microphone just sets it back to the level that it was at before. So I just have it open in another tab, and every time I see I'm not lighting Very up strange. anymore, I just... <laughs> Uh, it just did it again. I just watched it. That's so weird. Anyway, um, uh, you've declared attackers um, before blockers. I'm going to tap two. Should have poly to more. Uh, return to nature, the Wand of Orcus. Mm. And that does... Uh, uh, destroy right target there. artifact or enchantment mm. or exile a card from a graveyard. All right. Well, there we go. Uh, I will take three, though. Three damage it is, yep. Uh, and then, second main phase, I'm going to do nothing. And then I will go to my end step and sacrifice my zombie, which will create another zombie. And that allows me to draw a card. Cool. Uh, turn will be passed. What could I have Paul ticked more head. for? Okay. Their Omega. What could I have done? Well, while we're on the uh, the talk about uh, playing down threats, uh, <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six mana for a Bolas Citadel. Oh boy. <laughs> Uh, you may look at the top card of your library at any time. You may play the top card of your library. If you cast a spell this way, you might be to destroy to rune tail in exchange for attack J, not him. Uh, Appet sacrificed well, 10 he's going to. His opponent loses 10 life. Uh, you didn't close the deal. First of all. I have no oh. effects. Penguin. No. And I think the other two are I, tapped out. So. I'm tapped out, yeah. Um, all right. No, but Polaris wasn't going to do it. Time to go broke. Um, Arcane Signet. Penguin will definitely, definitely des destroy it because we can't do anything. Everyone's Mirage worried Mirror. about it. Uh, Mirage Mirror says you can pay two. It becomes a copy of target artifact, creature, enchantment, or land until end of turn. Uh, uh, it's, this has this some is, mm -hmm. interesting tech in this deck. Uh, this I'm gonna is just to another for two mana. Absolute uh, curb stomping. No, I'm going to have it become mm -hmm. a copy of my commander. Ooh, uh, okay. What happens is my original commander will die yep. to the legend rule. Mm-hmm. The Mirage Mirror that is a copy of him will exile him. Um, a token copy of him is going to be created, and then Mirage Mirror will get exiled. What this functionally does is, now I have an enchantment token of my commander. Do I need can to I... go through it? No, can anyone destroy multiple enchantments? Penguin, we're in trouble. No, no. I, I got one. I had one. No, we need more! All right, enchantment. I had exactly this many. Uh, yeah. Uh, Enchant how many spells is that though? It's two spells, so I'm just gonna do this. Okay. Uh, couple planes for turn. Um. Oh, tap my bot for a black. Uh, for a carry-on feeder. 
We're is, so he fun. can't block. He's a one-one sacrifice a creature. Put a one-one counter on him. Uh, great hand trigger. God damn it! It's a land. We got there, guys. We did uh, it, Coach. Uh, not really, because yeah. he no. probably has other ways to to grab a card off the top. But I... we temporarily got there. I'm going to have to pass on that. Oh, you love to hear it. <clears throat> I bricked. All right, let me reorganize my permanent so you can actually understand what's going on here. All right. Um. So I'm gonna untap. Uh, at my upkeep. Uh, what what do we want to be a bird? Is it is it gonna be helpful to anyone to make something a bird? Man. Um... Because. Or like power toughness three three one. <laughs> I have no idea. I don't no, know. I mean, I'm yeah, only asking. If if not, I'm just not going to do it. I'm not going to do the Aven Mimimancer thing. I'm yeah, I don't the think there's anything. Nation for now. Um, and I'm just going to go to my draw step and draw for turn. Uh, okay, we're gonna we're gonna play a land for turn, and we're gonna try to figure out what is the worst thing. Is it, it's Bolus Citadel, right? Like absolutely. Like, it's, it's, no long, it's, it's not even close to Rune Tales. Uh, oh. it's, it's definitely the Citadel. Yeah, like, Rune, because... Rune Tales is a future us problem. Yeah, 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 yeah. That, that's what I'm thinking. Okay, yeah. so I'm going to play Wicker Bell Elder uh, to spell. It comes into play with a minus one, minus one counter on it, but I can pay green and remove it to destroy target artifact or enchantment. Uh, and I'm really not going to waste any time. Uh, I'm going to pay the green, remove it, and blow up the Citadel. Yeah, absolutely. Um, because I think that is the one that will cause us instant doom. Uh, mm -hmm. And then... I... Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Yep. So... I'm going to then... I'm going to do this. I'm going to uh, pay one to move the death touch counter over to Mimeomancer, and then I'm gonna go to combat. And see what I can hit on Crystal and Giant. It's five. So the fifth keyword in the soup is flying first strike death touch. Lifelink. So he's gonna get a lifelink counter now. Cool. Love that. I have that counter. Um and then I guess I pass the turn. Jay Squad, take it away. And tap. So, oh, um, it's J Squad, right? J Squad. J Squad. Uh, what's the um, like, what's the? Bye. <laughs> good talk. Good talk. I hate that. I hate that so much. Uh, what is the <laughs> overall theme of your deck? Because Wuber can have a lot of directions. See, does it have a theme, or is it just like good stuff? It's just enchantments. That's fair. Nothing against that. All right, go ahead. Okay, I did draw already. I will play. Um, oh god. Shimmer Drift Veil vale comes in tapped. Um. <laughs> do I do it? Do it. Might as well. I don't know well. what it is, but you should do it. Okay, I can tap all these to make five colors. I'm gonna do the word bugger. So I can get mana four or less and put it onto the battlefield. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Must be legendary. If one of these cards is legendary or not, if not, I have my choice. My God, I I honestly have no idea. I I'm just sort of watching. On, sorry, this is taking so long. Penguin's able to do stuff. You're all good. I'm most definitely not. Polaris is definitely scary. He no longer has a commander, but he has a token of his commander enchantment. Not legendary. Shit. Okay, so four. Four. I'm gonna play Azur. Okay. Uh, and then with that, I now have 
three colors of legendaries. So this is three. And then I played an enchantment. And I will end my turn. Hmm. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna try and do a thing. Draw for turn, maybe? Hmm. That might be okay. Yeah, I like that. Let's see what we can do there. Alright, let's keep walking, Chubers. Did we lose a savvy? No, no. I believe so. Uh, no, I muted. muted. I muted myself. I was talking to the stream and trashing you guys. It was great. Um, so what we're gonna do? I'm back now, though. So no more trashing. We are then going to do 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 do. We're gonna do one, two, three, and that guy there. No, we're gonna do one, two, and three. One, two, three. Four. Jeez, dear lord. Alright, we're going to play a Cleaver Scab. Yeah, I love that card. So I got that going for me. And then, just because I need friends, uh, I'm going to tap one and play Grave Crawler. Because he's a zombie. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like having zombies. Uh, so that being said... <laughs> I'm going to go to my end step and I'm <laughs> right I'm going to all right yes going to go to my end step and I'm gonna sacrifice grave crawler and we're gonna bring out another zombie and I'm going to draw a card. Decay zombie, where is you? Decay zombie, thank you. Weep. Uh, and then draw a card. All right. Passing. Okay, well. Oh, did we lose Polaris? Did we? Did it happen? Oh, I thought I fixed it. I found a oh, setting. Uh, what back. is the highest toughness creature on the board? I think it's four. Ten. Ten? What is ten? Ah. Okay. Actually, it should be twelve, but it's ten. Twelve. I see. Um. Okay. Uh, let me count. You gonna? You gonna? What? Toxic deluge for ten? Twelve? Because you should. Okay, uh, I am going to tap. One, two, three, four. Oh, that doesn't tap. <laughs> four, five, six, gaining two. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. I believe that should account for the one one counter it's about to get. Sure. Uh, to uh, meat hook massacre for X equals twelve. Oh my god! Yeah, yeah, that oh does boy. it. Oh. We don't die here, do we? No. I I, I will be doing four oh, damage. Oh, just game. Okay. Oh, oh, creature you control. Sorry, I, 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 control, I had it flipped in my head. Yeah, when I control yeah. deals damage, when you control, I gain life. No, I yeah, I had the modes flipped in my head. Yeah. So, so I thought it was you control gain life, creature and opponent controls lose a life. So yeah, um. I have two. Sure. Happy Tuesday, everyone. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Wait, I but mean, you can't that's... have damage done to you, right? It's not, it's not damage. damage. It's minus, it's minus X. Yeah. Uh, uh, up uh, I believe it is 15 creatures that are control. Jantel has here. been streaming for 44 so minutes and 50 seconds. Yeah, I've 
god. Hope everyone's tacos were delicious. Five. Uh, yep. And we each lose four. four. Yeah, everybody loses four. Um, because my commander sees the death. Uh, Gangs rolling triggers, on in house. Everyone. Uh, Birds of Paradise, Carry On Feeder, and Avacyn's Pilgrim are going to be exiled and come back as enchantments. Mm -hmm. And since I had two zombies die that didn't have decay, I get two decay zombies. Very nice. Commander goes back to the uh, command zone, of course. Um, and I will go ahead and uh, pass my turn. Not untap. No up Gang, gang, sh gang showing up for the grape and ink. Doing well until <clears throat> Chokes left. White, blue, and one. Let's play Perry. The platypus? Go Perry. Uh, I, I have been really tempted to like get a little hat and marker it onto him. <laughs> for the, and just hey. have that be the shield counter that he comes in with. Yeah. It's a work in progress. Uh, he does come in to put a shield counter on target feature. It's going to be himself. Don't worry. Stickers are coming. Oh, I, yeah. No, I'm I'm low-key excited for that. Uh, I'm going to play a Myriad Landscape as my land for turn. And then... I'm going to... Nope, I had to tap it all like that. Okay. Uh, and then I'm just going to pass the turn. I think it's uh, interesting that... I think shield counters are now the only thing that gets around minus X, minus X. Uh, no, they don't. They don't? Because doesn't it destroy? <laughs> no, because uh, it, it, oh, if it, it has its toughness, it. It yeah, toughness it, yeah. reduced to zero. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you're right. There is, unfortunately. Uh, to my knowledge, there is no way to get around a strict minus X minus X. Yeah. Um, which is. Yeah, I guess an equal plus whatever. Uh, just right. for yeah. notice, uh, cards with die on the middle of them, those are enchantments now. Okay. I'm gonna go white, blue, black, uh, uh, sure, red, and, and basic, bring out Sissy, um, then I'm gonna tap for a green, normal and white, a satire enchanter whenever I cast an enchantment spell draw a card and I will pass the turn oh yeah Sissé gets plus one because this is still a white legendary alright let's see what we got here Well, <clears throat> maybe let's do this. Wait, um, <clears throat> Jay Squad, mm -hmm. do you have two lands that tap for two? Because that's eight mana total, right? I only count six lands, but I also need caffeine, and I totally could have missed something. For what? Uh, there's a there's a there's a Karoo land under the pile of three on the left. The oh, pile of okay. three on the left is actually a pile of four. Oh. Yep, there's a chancery down there. All right, that mm -hmm. works. Mm -hmm. Cool, thank All you. All right, so what we are going to do now, um, we're tap one, two, three, and we are going to play a Dire Graph Colossus. Melorus stops meat hook. Uh, so that's happening. Uh, I just have two, so he just gets plus two, so he's a four, four, which is fun. Uh, but then Melora. he gets his plus one. And then 
Oh, and also, whenever I cast a zombie spell, I create a tapped 2-2 two -two black zombie creature token. So, that's fun. Not uh, like this. Mm -mm. So if I exile somebody's... Whose graveyard is scary? Probably Polaris's. Okay. Uh, I will say, though, that I literally have zero recursion in this deck. But do... In a non-figurative way, like there are zero cards that interact. It's with actually Melora, Sylvic Outcast. Mm -mm -mm. Well, we're gonna do it anyways, cause just because <laughs> we're so gonna do. Bo 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 I was gonna say it's Bojikabog, Bo 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 right? Bojikabog, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that happened. We're gonna get rid of that just, just in case, just, just because. He's a big fat liar. Table here, yeah. flip this. Uh, all right, sure. so then what we're going to do is uh, one, two, and three. Tap all those. And we're going to play the old Plague Belcher. So that is a zombie, which creates a zombie. Tapped. Um, I do need to then put minus one on two creatures. I'll put them on these little zombie boys here. No. No, it's two minus one counters on two? a target creature. Oh. Put I'm just reading it because I've never seen right. Plague Belcher. All right. Well, then two. So this is a 1-1, a one, one, and this is still a 3-3. Three, three. Uh, so with that being said, uh, whenever another zombie I control dies, each opponent loses one life. So I'm going to go to combat, and I'm going to poke Fluff with I forgot Solemnity some, also stops some zombies. Counters. Some, uh, I have zero blockers, so... Yeah, so that's... Six. uh No, just four damage. Don't you still have the uh, Liliana's Mastery? Yeah, but yeah, this but one two gets... Two minus one yeah. minus one counters. Oh, okay. Yeah. I wish I could send you a dice die over the internet. Uh, I'll now, take four. Oh, oh, don't worry. They don't need to be here very quick. Uh, because they have <laughs> decay, so they all die. So each person oh, uh, loses two life. Yep. All right, so those guys have died. Boom. And I think that is all I can do. So turn will be passed. We're going to pray there's not a land on top again. Land, land, land. Hey, I love this guy. Two mana for a Dothy Voidwalker. Oh boy. Yep. He has shadow and uh, if it... Is it I'm just trying to remember how it's worded. Yeah, it's creature zero. or creature card? Um if a card would be put into an opponent's graveyard okay. from anywhere, instead exile it with a void counter on it. I can tap him and sacrifice him to choose an exiled card an opponent owns with a void counter on it. Uh you may play it this turn without paying its mana cost. Yeah. I'm gonna just to to while with Voidwalker on the stack. Yes. I'm just gonna cycle Splendor Mare. Uh, which draws me a card, but when I cycle it, I can put a lifelink counter on target creature I control. I don't remember if I have recursion, but I'd like the option just in case. I'll draw that is cycle. fair. Um, yeah, you got a void blocker. Yeah, uh, draw a card of a great hinge. Mm -hmm. um, drop a land for turn because I didn't do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, I believe 13 at this point. Yep, that's right. For my commander. Gain two life from the Great Henge. Draw a card. Uh, nothing was he, else in... What's up? Was he not a token, though, already? What happened there? So he was exiled. Yeah, um, yeah he got exiled. Tokened... Token. Oh, you're right. He oh, no, yeah. Died. Nope, it's 11. I mean, technically, only... I wouldn't have had to cast it at all, but since I totally missed that, I will just cast him. It's only 11, though. Not 13, guys. It's fine. Right. Yes. Okay. Well, the OG one is back. Uh, he's chilling. And with that, I will pass my turn. Gonna untap. No upkeep triggers. Gonna drop a turn. All right. Let's play uh, Temple of Mastery. I'll scry one. 
Huh. Yeah, we can leave that right there. Um. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. I'm gonna let's see. I'm gonna pay two. Who has creatures? Polaris has two. I have Abby three. 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 Squad has two, and I have one. Okay, that's fine. I'm gonna play uh, an investigator's journal. Investigator's journal comes into play with a number of suspect counters equal to the greatest number of creatures a player controls. So it comes in with three. Uh, I can pay oh. two and remove a counter to draw a card, or I can pay two and sacrifice a journal to draw a card. Um, two and sacrifice it. <laughs> that that seems to be the, <laughs> the, the tech play here. Uh, Four I mana really, draw, let's go. I know, right? It's great. Four mana draw one. Uh -huh. uh, and then I guess I just uh, pass the uh, ooh, mm, do, I, mm, do I want to attack? It's kind of what Perry does, but then I'm I'm just uh, there's a lot of crack back happening. I'm gonna pass the turn. Uh, 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 dang, dang, how do I want to do this? Oh, hi, troops. <laughs> Yeah, let's do this first. Okay, so we'll do colorless, colorless, and a white with one floating to put Giganta into my hand. And then I have, wait, with the blue floating, sorry. And then I'll use the blue, white, red, black, and green to play Giganta. Giganta. And I will end my turn. All right. We out here paying fancy mana costs. Wait, sorry, did I play a land? I didn't. I'm gonna do that. Sorry, I gained one life. Reminds me, I need to put Scoot Swarm in here. No, you don't. Scoot Swarm <laughs> belongs in the pits of hell. You think this deck is in the pits of hell? He's the Lord of Bones. I mean, you've already got, like, 15 land, so, like, he would be hell by now. All right. Cool. So here's yeah. what we're, we're going to do. Uh, we're going to... Uh... Yeah. yeah plus three. Let's do this. All right. We're going to tap one and bring out your boy Gravy. Gravy Crawly. Because he's fun. Okay. Grave Crawler. Grave Crawler yep. is back. Seems good. Uh, we are then going to... Can I do that? That would be neat. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Very nice. We're going to tap a blue... To tap that. One, two. And then... Three. We're going to play a Dire Graph Captain. Another zombie. Surprise. Uh, oh, by the way, I've played two creatures. Two zombie spells. That creates two tapped zombies. It's literally my the thing my deck does that I'm forgetting to do it. What an idiot! Um, so Dire Gaff, Captain, other zombies I control get plus one, plus one. And whenever another zombie I control dies, target opponent loses one life. So that's a lot of life loss. Uh, I still have two mana up. Uh, we're going to do something very, I guess, sacrilegious, you may say. Um, could I do that? No, we're going to do Would one go and two, and we're going to play Priest of the Forgotten Gods. Hey. Because, you know, that's uh, that's something that belongs in a zombie deck. So I can tap to sacrifice Gent, zombie, other two Gent, creatures. Zombie, Gent, zombie. Any number of target players each lose two life and sacrifice a creature. I add two mana and draw a card. Turn passed. Right. Give me a non-land permanent spell. Hey, that's a non-land permanent spell. 
Um, bam. Two life. Uh, three mana for a I'm really trying, champion. fam. Oh Whenever gosh. an enchantment enters the battlefield under your control, put a 1 1 counter on him and draw a card. I draw have a one of those. I'm really trying. I've got. <gasps> oh my I've, god! I've got a decent play I here. I didn't even realize. I uh, almost had something amazing. Three mana for Scoot Swarm! Oh, jokes. Sweet. Card. Um, um, I have Gary in I here, did not and play I a Cleaver, land for turn. Cleaver Scab. Brain. Uh, so, what I'm going to do is play a command tower. Uh, now, Scoot Swarm will go up to two Scoots. Uh, on the Scoot Swarm ETB, the OG one. Uh, did I resolve the Great Hand Trigger for the OG one? No. Okay, thank you for honesty. You got, you got, you got really excited about not having a land yet. Yeah, okay. Um, we're gonna try some shenanigans here uh one two three four five mana for a sir conrad the grim uh whenever mm -hmm. another creature dies or a creature card is put into a graveyard from anywhere other than the battlefield or a creature card leaves your graveyard sir conrad the grim deals one damage to each opponent draw a card uh okay I can out damage that. <laughs> now we've got a trigger hell to do. So what I'm going to do is first I'm going to sacrifice Satessin Champion to Carrion Feeder to have it come back as an enchantment. Uh, because it has Constellation, it will trigger itself when it ETBs. Drawing mm -hmm. a card. We all There's also one. a Sir Conrad right. the Grim trigger uh, because a creature I control died, and a Meat Hook Massacre trigger, so that'd be two damage to everybody. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, now, another piece of interesting tech. Uh, since he gets egg he goes to my graveyard and then gets exiled, it's another Sir Conrad the Grim trigger. No, because it leaves the graveyard. Yeah, when it becomes okay. an enchantment, it leaves the graveyard. Um, I'm going to sacrifice... Scoot Swarm has another three triggers. Uh, so now I have one enchantment Scoot Swarm and one creature Scoot Swarm. So whenever I land ETBs, I'm going to get both the Great Hench trigger and the Satessin Champion trigger from Scoot Swarm. Um, draw a card from Satessin Champion. And don't tell me I ran out of gas here. One, two, three, four, five. I have you want to know the best mana. part? Oh no, I have more mana. Ben approved um, this deck. One, two, three. Four, five, six. Then proceeds to not play mana today. For a Nyx Bloom Ancient. If you tap mm. a permanent for mana, it produces three mm. times as much of that mana instead. Um, both a Satessin Champion and a Great Hench Trigger since, since it's an enchantment. Of course he did. He isn't playing. LOL. Uh, I will sacrifice it for another three loss of life to everybody uh the test and champion trigger um and then that concludes my turn uh as i move to discard and get rid of a planes a forest one two three four five six seven yep planes in a forest that's it uh end of turn i'm gonna pay two to remove a counter to draw a card uh, I probably could have done this sooner. I'm gonna myriad landscape. So the myriad landscape gets exiled with a with a thing counter on it. Void counter. Um, that's correct. Um, so do you, I don't know if you can do anything with that because it's not a spell. Um, you I might don't remember play how the card. Oh, okay. lets you play the card. Dobby okay. is stupid because he not only does he let you play it, but he lets you ignore timing. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm just gonna get. I'm gonna get two islands. They'll come into play. Tapped. And then it'll be my turn, and maybe I don't know what I can do here because there's just a lot happening. All right, we're gonna untap. Turn. Uh, 
there's a very interesting card that I recommend people take a look at. Uh, I don't remember the name, but it is a two-drop green card that just says destroy all enchantments. Uh, enchantment, uh, tranquility. Yeah, enchantment wipes are very rare, but in situations like yep. this, yep. De definitely useful. Alright, um... Uh, I'm gonna... do this to draw a card. And once again... Uh -huh feel like kindergartens are getting kicked in the head today this seems like another one of these matches but for those of you who are here thank you very much for watching this absolute onslaught of cards uh we're gonna do join the party here if you haven't Jack swords throw it up thanks baller <laughs> oh my gosh Jack how do you swords. how do you how do i here's my issue Jack um, swords how do i Stay, stay super. I need your guys' help. I can't stay engaged as I'm getting destroyed here. So it's just like, oh, we're losing. What do we do? So I need your help, everyone. Golly. I don't know. Ask me dumb questions. I don't care. Ask me why I have a green screen. Ask me who. If you can start editing YouTube videos for me. Ask me those questions. Go ahead, Jason. It is so, time. Draw. It is time. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna tap Giganta to activate Sissi, and then we're gonna tap two to activate it twice. Yeah. Okay. Hey, have you guys seen? We're literally one spot away from another collector's box break. It is black. We're waiting for it to be filled, and then we can do another collector's. Hopefully sometime this week. Um, that'd be super sweet. It'd be really good fun times. I'd like to see more box breaks, but Pete, listen, I 100 also get, 100% get that... Uh, Oh boy, uh, 2x2 absolutely mangled everybody financially. Uh, yeah. Jank swords. Absolute dog getting in there with a jank sword. Thanks for joining the party, absolute dog. Woo! Absolute, how come you don't play with us? I ask every time. You're always LFG, you're not playing with me. I didn't have the money to get mangled by 2x2. It's a good LOL. call, Omega. Absolute great call. Now do the shuffle shuffle. Okay. He's putting more cards on the field that should be there. <gasps> Is he putting a cheaty face down? Oof, cheaty faces is okay. Or a Sanctum of All and a Goshintai of Life's Origin. So with that, Sissy becomes plus five, plus five. I imagine you're making the Goshintai hit the field first. The what, what? Which one is hitting the field first? Oh, this one. Okay. Yeah. Don't so forget then I get a 1-1 one, one Shrine. Do you have a shrine token? No. Noob, I do. Woo! They like weirdly expensive. Yeah, they are. I, oh, I also, they didn't. They, they didn't did print them print in them. the U.S., right? Nope. Yeah, I uh, got they a. Didn't print them, it's a super yeah. limited printing. That's all I. I got a German version of one. Wow. Open from a German pack. It was pretty dope. One one shrine. You get two shrines. Two shrines. Sanctum of all is a shrine. It gets one for itself. And yeah. Sanctum of All. Oh, okay. They printed so them only in set a, boosters. On what is it called in German? Uh, great question. Let me find out. Uh, it's shrine in German, but it sounds angry. It's shrine. <laughs> <Schrein. laughs> yeah, right. Every, everything in German sounds angry. <laughs> I stand by my statement. I did that. Wrong. Yes. I love set oh, boosters. We're gonna tap a green and a white, 
and play Sterling Grove. Still other enchantments I control of Shroud. Uh, I believe that will be all. Yes, I will end my turn. But I'm still looking for the shrine token. It's just weird when you just have like a, a random pile of German cards in your house. All right. Uh, <laughs> Where are you guys gonna, all from, by the way? Not yeah. Germany. Not Germany. All, well, most of us from BJ and Co. here in Canada. Penguin, oh, okay. I think you're a US of A. Yeah. Uh, I am from Florida. All right. We won't hold that against you. Yeah, the butthole of the United States. <laughs> Read the news posts you guys make. Yeah. Um, uh, the legendary Florida well, man. Weird story, or the weird fact is that um, it, Florida, I mean, it does have its crazies, but the reason you hear about Florida man so much is because Florida makes its arrest records public, which makes a lot more news stories than other states. All right. Here's what's going to happen, folks. Uh, we're going to do it. One, two, three... Four, five, six. We're bringing out your boy Willie. Willie Helt. I have cast. Florida. I have, have cast the zombie. We left Florida three years Which ago for means Oregon. I get a zombie. Boom! I did that. Um, yeah, that's pretty much about it. So then, actually, I'm not going to go to combat. I'm going to go to my instep and sacrifice your boy Gravy, Gravy Crawley. Careful. Oh, should I be careful? What did I do? Yeah, Delthy Voidwalker is still in play. Oh, uh, so he go get... graveyard uh, it wouldn't. Play. It wouldn't oh. be your graveyard. Well, then f that noise. Yeah, I probably a token. Tokens ignore yeah. Delthys. Uh, I don't really need to even. Yeah, I'll get rid of this tapped token. And, um. Uh, Mm -hmm. Yeah, still, I'm just going to do something during your end step also. Yeah, Abby. okay, so then I'll draw a card. Okay, I guess that's the thing, and uh, that is that. What I'm going to do end step before it cycles over is I'm going to generous gift the Great Henge. Ooh. Yeah, that, that will, would... Um... That will give you an elephant token. Yeah, that's probably the only thing that you really yeah. It's the it's the only good play. Uh, I thought of I uh, mm, see I thought something mention would, it would become an enchantment. So yeah, is the problem because you haven't you haven't sacked Nick Blue Ancient yet. Yeah. Uh, and I thought about Sir Conrad, but then Sir Conrad also just comes back. It is literally just Shrine, but angry. It is yeah. Oh God, what's that <laughs> underneath? Uh, that good Why luck. Is there a vas yeah. crater? I think it should, uh, spell table should actually scan it. Token enchantment creature. That's uh, what that means. I'm going to say it's a token enchantment creature. Uh, it's got to be. I, just, I see creature at the end, and then the other stuff is. Germany, and then, German just Frankenstein and then even, together. So. What's this dying list? Dying list? <laughs> so, yeah, that's pretty dope. <laughs> that really is it, just angry. It's just... I was, I, I gotta be honest, I was kidding when I said it's just shrine but angry, but no, here we are. Here, here, you are well, well within your means of being exactly correct. Love it when that happens. Uh, but yeah, alright. Uh, take it, uh, take, go ahead. Yeah, We're good. that's the end of me. I got, I got rid of something. Alright, what do the RNG gods have for me in store today? Would it be a win con? Yes, it is a win con. Why, thank you. Um, first, I am going to... Oh, I discarded my lands because I'm stupid. I can't get more scoots. Oh, shucks. Oh, shucks. Um... Ooh. That dampens things. Okay, I know what I'm gonna do. Uh, tap a... Yeah, 
Type of forest for three, six mana. Uh, we're going to cast a second harvest. Uh, for each token you control, create a token that's a copy of it. Hmm. That's going to be a lot of triggers. Yep. Okay. So. I'm just going through all my German cards okay, now, looking for all the copy. shrines. Birds of Paradise. Oh. Uh oh, is correct. Birds of Paradise gets copied. Avicen's Pilgrim gets copied. It's a test and champion. Copied. Feud Swarm copies on both. Uh, that's all. Okay. Um, so now there's two Tessens on the field. So draw. Oh. What? You made six tokens, so it'd be twelve, right? Oh no, no, there's two of this guy, is what I, what I was saying. Gotcha. So two, four, six, eight, yeah. Oh, is it only ten because only one of the scoot swarms is an enchantment? That is correct. That's my bad. All right, if I can't find something here, I'm gonna cry. Six, six, seven, seven was an, enchant an enchantment too, because you just. Yes. Well, isn't it a enchantment token you create with your commander? Did he, did he sacrifice the next plume? I didn't think he did. Not the next plume. No, the next plume is just one. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Um, I have no idea what to do. I, okay. I honestly have uh, no clue. Let's see what we can't do now. What do I have? Um, let's talk. Three. Oh, so I tapped six for that. So I have two floating. So I was thinking of doing tap ravenous. Land for three. Rot belly. I don't want to blossoms. That's not uh, going to do for much. Another enchantment yep. enters the battlefield under my control. Draw a card. So that's three. I have cards. Gary. Just about it. I, I got a hole on nothing. I think that's what I'm looking for. Uh, I will sack it. It'll come back as a regular enchantment. I'll draw another three. And ping for three damage. I'm just digging for Avenger of Zendikar. Uh, I have one floating, so... You have, you have dead on board. You have enough creatures uh, and Sir Conrad. These are all enchantments. Oh, right. They stopped being creatures. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, tap Command Tower for another three green. Spend it on a... Shatterfang, uh, sacrifice Shatterfang and create a token copy. Another ping for three, draw another three cards. Use an enchantment. You I'm sorry, this might be this might be dirtling a little bit. It definitely is, but I think it might be game I, here. I don't even know what dirtling um, means, but okay. Tap this for three for a Woe Strider. Uh, it creates a goat. Goat! Uh, Sacrifice it. Oh, actually, it creates a goat and a squirrel. That's nuts. Uh, sacrifice it, creating a two squirrels and a goat. Dirtling equals spinning your wheels, but not accomplishing much. Three squirrels. Two goats and a Woe Strider enchantment, which will draw me another three cards. One, two, three. Yeah, okay. Um, swamp for three black, Arcane Signet for three white. I'm gonna cast a Cruel Celebrant. Uh, whenever it or another creature plains walk you control dies, each opponent loses one life and you gain one life. Um, I still have four mana floating, so I'll spend two of it on a support cutthroat. Whenever it or another creature I control dies, each opponent loses one life and you gain one life. Uh, and then I have two mana floating. I'll tap Tough this time. for farewell and uh, black for a black bastion blue. of remembrance. Whenever a creature you control dies, each opponent loses one life and you gain one life. Uh, <laughs> so this is one, two, three, four. Now five ping effects? Six. It's six. 
What's the six? Well, it's it's five and a half, depending on how many real creatures well, you have. Or an undo That's inversion true. or a planar yeah. cleansing. So, so it's it's either five or six. Nah, you are just screwed, but Sabi. Yes. Yes. Yeah, I have enough we're, to just yeah. attack we're, and do for 25 damage. I think that's we're, game. Yep. We're playing in a 100% game here. Uh, we're uh, just completely under So what I have to say is I apologize powered. if it was a little stompy. This is, I think, turn 12, so I didn't think it was that terrible. Um, but I can totally switch decks if that felt too oppressive. No, no, we're all eight. Hey, that's yeah, how the game goes. Good. So, yeah, yeah. There we go. Um... Are you guys gonna play another? Or are we done for the night? No, we're gonna we're gonna jump on over. We're gonna do some car races uh, for some join car the party races. points. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna do that. Uh, maybe if some people do join the the Forge Festival, you can crack crack a few packs. I think we need two to get another pack added into the pot. And if you haven't, um, use those channel points, Builder's Arms. Armory. I've got to I've got to update that for sure. The next couple, I'll do it tonight. I'll do it tonight. I promise everyone, I'll be better. Uh, uh, it's been so a bit crazy. <laughs> for myself and new viewers, Forge Festival is a giveaway, and you get entries. Mm -hmm. How? So for each, how it works is we crack a pack for every three subs uh, towards the channel. Uh, the reason we've chosen three is because it pretty much just covers the cost of the pack. After. Twitch gouges us. Twitch, don't watch this because then you'll remove my affiliate because I just said you gouge people. Lol. Um, yep. So we every three... Yeah, they, they help us. <laughs> uh, so for every three packs, we, um, we open a pack. And then each sub that a person has put in, uh, you can give subs to get more entries, of course, uh, gets you an entry. And at the end of the month... All the rares and mythics that have been put into the pack uh, or into the pot, uh, we do the draw and somebody wins them all. So that's sick. We just mail them to you and you get them. So that's Forge Festival. Neat. Yeah, it's good um, times. Another cool piece of tech in this deck, I'm sad I didn't get to show off, is Scroll of Fate, which is a card I've never seen anyone play. Uh, it says tap to manifest a card from your hand. Put that card onto the battlefield face down as a 2-2 two, two creature. Turn it face up any time for its mana cost if it's a creature card. So, since it's a creature itself, you can sacrifice it, and Miracle will bring it back front side up as an enchantment. Hmm. I've there used it in Animorphs. Animorphs. Nice. Uh, it's, yeah, the, the anim, uh, as Animar as the commander, and then it's, it's like Morph Tribal, almost. Why not, uh... Oh, does Animar reduce Morph costs? Uh, he reduces all creature costs by one, where, or like by by X, where X is the number yeah. of plus one plus one counters on him, and every time you cast a creature, he gets a plus one plus one counter. So, so the, after your the... third morph, your all your morph costs are free. All, all your morph plays are free. Really? Because I thought I thought morph was inactivated. I thought morph was inactivated. So ability. yeah, yeah. So the the to activate the morph, yes, but to play the creature as a morph is oh like, the like three mana that you pay. Yeah, yeah. So okay. that becomes free. And then all you have to pay are the morph costs. Oh, that's pretty cool. So I'm I'm like eighty percent sure of that. Like I haven't played that deck in a million years, um, but I remember seeing Scroll of Fate and being like, huh, I could remake Animorphs with that. Yeah, um, I I think this commander was really cool because he has a very unique design space. Um, another really cool idea I've seen is uh, if you've seen the the Ezior Giada's Gift Blade that turns a Planeswalker into a creature, you can turn Planeswalkers into enchantments, and they still get their abilities. So still have the yeah. Um, and Scroll of Fate also works with that as well. Um, oh, interesting. Also, Scroll of Fate, if you wanted, you could with him, you could turn your instants and sorceries into enchantments if you felt like it. They wouldn't do anything. We're gonna start here really real soon. We're just gonna let them do this. All right, everybody, we are going to jump over to some cars. Um, I'm going to boot everybody out of the chat. Sure. See, no thanks, for, thanks for having me, guys. See you all next time. Sorry. Bye, 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 bye. Enjoy, FK. All right, cool. We're in cars time. It's happening. We're doing it. Gent getaway car race. Let me know if it gets laggy. I don't I don't quite know what's what's happening. Doesn't look like I'm losing anything, but yeah. 
All right. We're gonna just we're gonna start five races, all depending on how many people we have racing. Uh, it's either gonna be first two places get a point or first one. We'll see. We shall see. All right. All you gotta do is hit exclamation mark race to get on in. Race. And uh, there you go. Omega's in. The taxi driver from Boston. This could be a very easy uh, join join the party win for Omega's curse. I gotta turn the old. Yeah, that's enough music. Death race. There we go. Kenku, Baller, Ben Lee. Race. Yeah, boys. Here we go. It's happening. It's go time. Are you guys excited about uh, Dominaria? Are you guys pumped about that? Is that you guys looking forward to that? Uh, all right. So with three racers, obviously we're just gonna do first place gets one, join the party point. Um, bots. No bots. They do nothing. And there's a couple cards from it I'm really interested in. Yeah, I'm super pumped. I think it'll be good. It'll be nice to get back away nice from for Lenore. some crazy luck, big stuff. Racers. The checkered flag. Alright, here we go. What am I doing? Did I Bots cause right. chaos? They do. LOL. The new Yuira is stupid busted. Oh boy. Oh, they've changed it. You can't bot bots don't do anything anymore. They've changed it. There was a new update. You cannot you can no longer hit other cars. Not gonna lie, don't love it. So it's Every really just a race. The card breaks the meta. All right, we got Omega in first place, followed by Ben Lee Kenku is in his Jeep sleeping. Uh, yeah, I don't, I, I don't know why. I mean, I get it if you have two hundred people yeah, they racing. Turn the vehicle coalesced science. I wish it was an option to have collisions on, because like, what game is this? This is Stream Racer, so it's like Marble Racer except cars, pretty much. I start was complete chaos. Yeah. No, I agree. Taxis. I would have I would have liked them to Wow, everybody's just way over here. Omega's still in the lead? Yeah, see like there's no Sabi bumping. Is my Uber. <sighs> Most deaf. I would have liked Do y'all record your streams? We do. Um I'm supposed to be uploading them to YouTube, but I'm only one man. And I just can't I just can't keep it. I can't keep up. I'm so far behind. I'm trying to well, film you YouTube videos. To be your Uber. I'm just, I'm just Garbo. Oh, BJ and Co wins. Doesn't matter. Omega. All right. Here's my solution to the chaos starts. Give invincibility for 10 seconds. Boom. There you go, Omega. And then after 10 seconds, put it on. What do I know though? Omega and is Mennonite, so he drives a horse cart. Right. I'm all right with that. There you go, Omega. You got a join the party point. <laughs> Hashtag kids do that did. stuff. Right. So what? That's fine then. Kenku's driving backwards. What the fuck is this? <laughs> I don't even know what to say. What is happening? It was like 15s before cars solidified. Yeah, I thought that was fine. Ben is so Amish he doesn't use electricity. Hey, I'm all right with that. All right, one race done. We got four more races in the Potterino. Exclamation mark race gets you in. Well, some people didn't, I guess. Ben is so Amish he lives in a barn. Oof. Race. I bet race. Ben wishes he could live in a barn. Um, yeah, I don't know. It seems. I wish. I wish it was a. A toggleable ben got option. married in a bar, Jay. He Gent getaway car didn't, race. Didn't though. I was barn. at the wedding. It wasn't a barn, sadly. All right, who's gonna win the next one? Next, 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 next one. If we get up over six, I'll give the first two. Oh, where was it? I was in a. It was just in a community hall. That him and his family kind of run. Funeral home. Ooh. It was for his, it was a funeral home for a single life. Did you get wrecked, Ben? All right. Hey, do any of you guys edit YouTube videos? Mausoleum. Cause I gotta friggin' start recording some YouTube videos. 
I got a couple ideas, but I just Monogram. don't like editing video. So if any of you ever want to edit videos, you just let me know, and I'll make it happen. You guys can even edit streams for all I care. Oh, wow. Ancient tool. Wow. Kenku's in there. Baller Ben Lee out in the lead. Yeet over. Full send. Oh, fuck Kenko. Yeah, Kenku got wrecked. It's okay. He might catch up. Oh, BJ and Co's winning again. Freaking BJ and Co. Doesn't. Omega. Hey, Omega, guess what? I'm going to Boston, boys. I got a trip planned in October. What should I go see in Boston? Um, I don't know a whole lot about Boston. I know there's a lot of American history. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I've, we're going to go see the Bruins play. Because, you know, whoop. Oh, that's interesting. It took the... Wow. Okay. Bye, baller. That was amazing. Uh, I don't know if this is going to work for you. That tree got you. BJ and Co. Takes the lead. Oh, no. You're still okay, though. It's only BJ and Co. It seems like a much slower game without the big collisions. Damn tree. So, here's the deal. We really liked the idea that Card Kraken did something like this. We thought it was a very neat interactive piece. Um, I honestly hate that they got rid of all the friggin' collision. Um, I really don't want to do marble races. Mainly because... Frick. We're just... Co has started doing them. And it's literally just copying Kraken. So we wanted to copy Kraken. We just didn't want to copy Kraken, you know? So we... What is happening here? I... I do not know who's in the lead. Baller still? Kinda? Taxi is cooler. I like Taxi. I'm sad that the collisions... Yeah. Who knows? Maybe we'll get, like, some cool stuff with, uh... With the map, with the map thingy. Omega, wow. I don't know what happened to Baller what? Ben Lee, but he just spun out. You just got hosed, Baller. Omega, two points, boom. Just like that. Two JP points. What's up, Tubers? What are you looking at? Really dark in here, isn't it? Oh, that's because my camera is covered by a thing. I need more light. For the old green screen. That's a must. Gotta get we that. We love Chobes. Chobes is the best. Chobes is the best. Alright, well there you go, Mega. You got yourself another join the party point. Three more races. Who's gonna win? Who's gonna win? Oh, no Star. Chobes left. Ah, uh, she's here. Right here. Right, Tubers? Right, little Chobes? Neck brace. Neck brace. Race. Gent getaway car race. Kenku. Mm -mm -mm. Gent Ben Gent Ben Gent Ben Gent Ben Gent Ben Gent Ben Gent Ben. Yeah, Ben. Where is Ben? So Ben, being married. Uh, hosts a game night in the community that we grew up in. So he takes all five kajillion board games that he has, takes them to a community center, oh, and let's... Game night. Yeah, that one. Yeah, so he runs that. So he's doing that. Alright. First place gets one. Does join the party point. Oh, I think he doesn't approve of Twister. He only likes hardcore games. Kind of track. Oh, this is an interesting track. Look at the tires. LPP. LOL. Right, tubes. Oh, you're pushing my mic off. Crazy. You're crazy. Strip twister best. There you go. Now we're talking, baller. Guys, we've got ship shields coming too. That's exciting. 
I gotta get a stamp made though. What I'm gonna do is, if you look, it's very small on the anvil. Oh, good job, BJ and Co. I'm gonna get that made for a stamp. I just gotta figure out where to get stamps made. I think Staples makes stamps. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna do that. Is Kraken and can I? There we go. Is Kraken and Post office has stamps. No, no, <laughs> like a rubber customized stamp. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's funny though. LOL. I think everyone's done streaming. No raid. Thanks, friends. Oh, Baller Bentley's in the lead. You killing it, Sabi. I'm trophy. I'm, congratulations. I'm doing what I'm gonna do. You've received 100 messages today with Restream Chat. Thanks, Restream. Beep, 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 beep. Thanks for talking to me. I appreciate that, everybody. Hey, if you haven't and you want yourself a shot at a budget commander deck, be sure to join the Builder's Armory. At Baller Benley, Janko has been streaming for 1 hour 36 minutes. Thanks, Tubes, for that, I guess. Baller Benley spinning out on... Is Omega going to get another win? What is happening? Baller Benley got hosed again. This, this is just like tonight's match. Just literally kicking babies. I mean, there's still some race left, so other things can happen, but... Oh my gosh, he full sent it over. Kenku's like, hold my beer. As I nosedive. Alright, Omega's turned out a little better. Baller, Ben Lee. How's he do over the jump? Over the jump. Absolutely terrible. Oh, Omega, right into the pile. That is a good... Oh, golly. So good. Omega is just going to... Oh. Oh. What has happened here? Omega wins. That's three in a row. Holy Toledo, Omega. Three of three. Congratulations, my guy. Kenku in second. Yeah. I 100% agree. Alright. What can I do? Because I don't I don't know if much much is happening in the MTG box break. Keep misboosting. Can't get altitude dot L O L. Yeah. Um, I don't know what to do. Oh my gosh, Ben. This is Ben. Not even gonna finish. See, this is where I think, like, it would be nice, obviously, if there was a car behind him to just smash him. But no. He's literally just stuck. He blew a tire. Uh, apparently, he did something. Bow, ba -dow, ba -dow, ba -dow. Yeah, good good job, Ben. Didn't even finish. You loser. Running on rims. Do 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 do. All right. Two more races. Can Omega be stopped? I race. Arm I don't race. even know. I don't even know if Omega can be stopped. Well, I guess the last one's on points. Well, you can't be stopped, Omega. Congrats. You won. <laughs> I think I think you won. Get out of here, other cat. Even if he doesn't race, he wins. I know. That's what I mean. I I, I don't think anyone Jen can do anything. Can car race. Who is the other cat? So we've got two other cats in the house. The wife and I. Um, we have Callie and Tommy, which are her two cats, and then we're babysitting the stepdaughter's cat, because she's with the wife in Toronto, so I'm we just have three cats. being a batch. We're, we're four. Four here right now. One's, one's just a temp, though. 
All right, let's so see what we get. Four total. Yeah, there's four. Yeah, it's a lot of cats. It's cat heaven. It's something. Look, Omega's out in the lead. Oh, well, okay. Oh, oh, my, oh, ah, Baller Ben Lee takes the lead. We've seen this before, folks. Right, Tubes? Meow. Oh, Get just a group out. photo. Oh my gosh, I. Chewy is very much not doesn't like cats. the other cats. She will run and hide. She likes to be alone, kind of like her dad. This guy. Um, Bird there's them a together. <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't know if that'll happen. Chewy is great because she's like a dog. She likes me and only. Oh, baller! No. Shake treats. No. Doesn't Chewy doesn't care. Doesn't care. She knows another cat's there. Negatroy. See ya. All right, Kenku. New leader. WTF taxi. Yeah, your taxi full yeeted. Kenku might actually get one here. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, Chubers is great. She likes me. I mean, she likes the wife as well, but she really likes, like, I mean, she's here for most of the streams. If it's not here, she's on her tower, or she's on her lazy, or my lazy boy, which she sits on. Oh, Kenku's got this. That's a mic. You're going to knock the mic the chosen one. She's, she's the best. And I think what it is, she doesn't like big crowds. Because I got her when I was in school in Vancouver um, for radio broadcasting. So it was literally just, wow. Is, is Baller Ben Lee going to take this from Kenku because of this bullshit? How old is Jokes? Uh, oh. Is Baller Ben Lee going to give it to Kenku? Oh, wow. That was down to the wire. Chewie is five. Five years old. Baller Ben Lee gets to join the party point. That was hilarious. That was something. I don't really know what happened, but it, it was down to the wire. Uh, Omega... Could tie. Could tie. Depending on how Kenku did in the previous what races. I won. Oh, weird. Well, I'll give you guys each a join the party point. I don't care. Boom. There you go. Congratulations, everyone. You all get one. I'm just a generous guy. What can I say? Um, yeah, so it was just Chewy and me in the house, and it was just me. Race. I mean, it sucked, because I didn't like living in Vancouver, away from, you know, my house. Um, which is sad. Speed Racer. Speed Racer! Um, so, you know, but Chewy and I, we just hung out a lot, just the two of us, and it was quiet. Jokes is understand. No cats, and... Choops is MVP. Gent getaway car race. Chobes is best cat. Alright, last race. Here we go. Who's going to win? It's going to be very tough to dethrone Omega. I guess... I guess technically it would have to be Kenku. Because, uh... Oh, 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 hello! Because they gave him two points for last race. So... Fingers... What? Baller Ben Lee. See you later, I guess. Maybe that's a good sign. Chubes is, Chubes is best cat. Right, best cat? Chubes sleeps with me every night. Chubes uh -oh. just stares at you in love. Yeah. We're good time. We're good time friends. Yeah. Boop. What is happening over there? Kenku's... 
in the lead. This could be good for Kenku. Uh, Omega and Baller. I think Baller has to come in second, which is happening right now. See, I would have liked to see some collision there. Because really now it's just AIs running. Oh, the big old booster. Good plays. Um, it's just AIs running the course. It's not as... Ooh, okay. Kenku's kind of clearing away. Omega, Baller. Thanks, BJ and Co. You suck. Ooh, Baller Ben Lee. See, that would have given Kenku a huge boost there. Nope. No boost. Come on. Come on. <coughs> oh, Kenku's in the lead. Omega, followed by Baller Ben Lee. It's, uh, it's going to be close. If Omega doesn't win this, it's probably the biggest upset that I've ever seen in this game. Oh, Baller Ben Lee with the big land. Omega with a better land. Kenku, see you later. I think Omega's clunched it. I think he's done did it. Oh, no, he did. What the heck? Oh, my gosh. If Kenku passes. Oh, the wall. See, this wall's dumb now because everybody just hits it. Wow, Omega. Oh my gosh, that was almost major. That was huge. It definitely got you second, which I think... Oh no, really? The tires? Oh my gosh. Congratulations, Baller Ben Lee, on your victory. Alright, let's see who gets a Forge Festival entry based off of the old cars. Yeah, November 4th, this is coming. That's cool. Settings? Okay. Ooh. All right. Profile, enable booms. Yes. Let's see what else. I'm, I'm making you guys come with me on this journey right now. Controller input. Why? Don't know. I guess sound. Sound is good. Credits. Don't care. Put in... Collisions! Sad face. Alright. Uh, play. Leaderboards. Here we go. Who wins? BJ Co. Boop, 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 boop. Get out of here. Omega. Oh. Ha! You know what? I don't even give a shit. You guys are great. Y'all getting Forge Festival entries for being great. I don't know what happened. I don't know how that's possible that Omega only got four points. He won three races. Explain it to me. You all get Forge Festival points. Congratulations. All right, everybody. Sweet. Let me see who is on the old. Must be that new map. It's just LOL. Yeah. It's just it's something. All right, let's see who do we have going, going here. Doesn't look like anybody's box breaking. I want to raid somebody because you know what, I like that. Um. You know what? Have a good uh, night. Who should I raid? Who should I raid? I don't know. I don't even have the thing open. I'm not raiding anyone. I'm sad. Streaming's sad sometimes. But I want to thank you guys for being here. Huge help. I greatly appreciate it. Without you, it would have just been me getting curb stomped all night. So, thank you for hanging out with me. Um, B Team is playing tomorrow. Be sure to check them out. Followed by an NGS Heroes of the Storm cast by Ben and myself. I'm gonna try not to Sorry swear. Sorry, I was late. No, I'm usually there at the start. You know what? It just means a lot that you even showed up. That's huge. And uh, then Sunday we're gonna have another Commander Quartet. Ben and I against two other people who are gonna curb stomp us, or Ben's gonna win. And then 
I don't know. Maybe a box break someone there. I, I literally need one slot to fill. We'll make it happen. Thanks, everybody. We will see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.